TJ Warren's currently leading the NBA in the bubble with 34.8 points per game through five games. So I did a film breakdown of all his makes so far, and it starts with how effective and efficient he's been in transition scoring. So this first clip, I consider a transition since it was in the flow. It's going to be a spin into a jumper right here. Tough shot, great touch, soft touch. This next one's going to be a deflection. He gets downhill for a nice veer finish. You can see right, left, and one. Here, he's going to push the ball all the way to a little bump touch floater right in the paint. He's gotten really good at this shot over the past couple of years, that touch little runner. Another one is going to be a transition step in. He's made a, a good amount of these throughout the five games also. A block or a deflection, throw ahead, quick behind the back into an open step, elite move, tough move. This one right here is going to be a 28-foot step in, three in transition. This is when you're just in the zone right now. Here we got another wide open, top of the key, transition step in. This next one's going to be a pass ahead to the break. You can see they're up five at this point. But the, with the flow and the zone he's in, that's a knockdown. That basically ends the game. Next, we got a little touch runner right there off the Euro step for and one and transition. Another and one finish right there off a of steal and deflection. Here's another one, too, with a dunk off a of run through. Another steal gets him going in transition for elite scorers like him. That's huge if you can get a couple baskets a game like this where you get a couple deflections or steals and you get run out layups for four to six points a game. That really adds up over time. Now you can just see he's in the zone with these shots, like that dribble pickup left to right between the legs. Here, once again, a run out and transition for a layup. Quick post up when he sees the mismatch right here. He's going to attack middle. That's a great pound rhythm dribble to split through and get right to the middle of the paint, to the midline. Great 45 degree angle cut there and transition. Another transition. He kind of just steps into it right at the top of the key. Another transition toss back. You can just see how many baskets he's getting here in transition with a nice quick roll inside hand finish. Here it is again. Gets right downhill. Kicks out. Catches it right at the dunker spot for another layup. Tough reverse finish. So that was all his transition baskets, which is about two minutes. Next, he's an excellent off-ball cutter right here. So you can see how it gets to the dunker spot right there. Penetration finishes against... Height and length against Joel Embiid. Watch this backdoor cut right there along the baseline. He's had a couple baskets of just being right along the baseline and knowing when to cut, especially off that short roll right there. You can see he face cuts his man for a nice stride stop finish. This next one's going to be a back cut right from the top of the key. Great pass from Malcolm Brogdon. Watch how Anthony Davis isn't paying attention when he gets back cut right there for a dunk. Offensive rebounds, so he's had a couple baskets off offensive rebounds here. And it, it just adds up over time. It adds up over time. Like you can see that quick steal off the offensive rebound. And all these baskets, so you get the transition layups, you get the offensive rebound, you get the off ball cutting. All this just adds up to 12 to 14 points, and that's how you get up to averaging 35 because he gets a lot more baskets coming in ball screens, dribble handoffs, and throughout their actions. So right here, we got a spot up at the top of the key, penetration, kick, deep three. That's five feet behind the three-point line at least. Next one here, it's off a of ball screen action. He's spotting up, another catch and shoot, couple feet behind the three. So he's going to pass out of it, re-spot up, catch and shoot right at about 25 feet. Contested 3-2. Tough shot. This is off a step-up ball screen. They tag over. Great pass from Malcolm Brogdon again for a three. 
This one's going to be off penetration from Victor Oladipo. Gets a paint touch kick out to three, corner three. That one's off an of offensive rebound, basically a tip out, so he's stepping into it. We got a couple clips here of attacking a closeout. You can see this first one's going to be a step back bucket. And this next one is going to be a nice jab jumper. Boom. Aaron Gordon drops back. Quick shot. Now with his size and his height, he's able to score low post. So he has a couple baskets of that way too. He's got three low post baskets if you don't count the one against Quinn Cook too. Bump. Quick spin. That move was elite with the slide by finish two versus the rotating shot blocker. Here's another one going middle. This is just when you're in a great flow with the lefty scoop finish. B.O.B. So he has a couple baskets off B.O.B.s. The first two. This one's off a pin in screen. And then these next two are basically off live ball. Getting outside hips. Watch how he gets outside hips right here. He gets outside Aaron Gordon's hips, gets downhill into a touch runner like I talked about earlier. This next one's be quick inside out. Watch that. It just shifts Kyle Kuzma. Once again, another touch runner. Now he has four baskets off of Iverson action, which is when you go over top here. He catches it. This one's really tough. That's a tough basket. That's once again, you're just in a zone at that point. Stop and go off the Iverson. Veer finish slows down and finishes right at the rim. Against Anthony Davis here. Jab, cross step. Another touch runner. Creates contact on that one too. You can see this one. He back. He basically starts to go off the Iverson and then cuts back. Catches it. Bump Euro step. Here we got some screening action. So two clips off a wide pin down. Catches it. This one may be a travel, but great move. Little shot fake shot. This next one shot fake. One dribble, cross step, get to space. Now we got one off a of pin down. So you can see they do stagger away. He goes under, and then they're going to set a pin down right there. Catches it, kind of bounces back off his inside foot for a mid range jumper. Now we got three clips of that stagger away action. He's a great back cutter off of this, especially if a team top locks. So they're trying to take away him using the screen. He gets two back cut baskets off of them trying to top lock. This next one, curl into a one dribble quick floater. Now watch what Ben Simmons, he tries to top lock him. Back cuts for a layup. That's the second time they've gotten that. Now off ball screens, he's been really good against a weak or against an ice. So this first one is going to be right before the screen. He takes one dribble into a shot. Ben Simmons goes under on that one for sit behind three. This is what I was talking about. They try to go weak against the Sixers. They're going to drop with Joel and Bead, so he's able to get to mid-range space. Here's another one. They try to go weak, turn the corner three. That's... He hit a couple of those. He hits one against the Lakers later. That one's almost like a drag ball screen. Turns the corner versus the switch. Here we got another sit behind when a team goes under. You can't go under him right now. He's shooting way too well. You got an ice or a weak right there. Nice hezzy shot fake. Finishes through the contact. You can see they run a lot of that set where they he gets at the slot almost. The team tries to ice it, basically force him towards the sideline. And he has a lot of options out of that. He's playing well, especially off that tight wrap there to that touch floater. This is the one I was talking about where he turns the corner. One dribble, basket. Anthony Davis isn't up to touch enough. So he has one basket out as, as the ball screener. So he screens here to pop. Catches, one dribble, little touch shot in the paint. Here we got a dribble handoff. Really watch on this dribble handoff how he catches it and he throws the ball ahead to get to mid-range to get to a spot at the elbow here for a jumper.